Welcome to another edition of LR Mania Reviews, and tonight I'm here to review SmackDown, which I am not looking forward to. I am so upset with that Battleground show. That was a horrible fucking pay-per-view. That was just a terrible, pathetic show, one of the worst pay-per-views WWE has ever put on. By far the worst show they've put on this year, and that includes Fastlane. That also happened that year, this year, which was a horrible show also. So the fact that Battleground was far worse than that is pretty damn disappointing. I am not... Looking forward to the show at all. I'm extremely sour on this brand. I don't care about anything. I don't want to see Baron Corbin face Nakamura again. Nakamura is just being dragged down to death while facing this fucking loser. I do not want to see AJ and Owens again. I am sick of it. Yeah, I like both of them a lot. I am sick of it. I certainly do not want Jinder Mahal on my TV screen anymore. This guy is a complete bust. And I think the main reason the show has been going down so much is him. He is not a championship level performer he doesn't belong as champion he's fucking horrible why it's, it's, it just annoys me so many people say don't hinder gender why the fuck are you supporting this guy can't you see he fucking sucks he's had a horrible match like that last night a pay-per-view main event that match absolutely sucked i think a big correlation um or a big connection, uh, rather, uh, to the ratings going down is gender as champion. He's just awful. The ratings are shit, and he's he's just been terrible. I think he's, oh, I mean, you're pushing the wrong guys. You have to see. I don't want to see Jinder Mahal. I don't want to see Baron Corbin on my fucking TV. I don't think uh, I hate the women's match. I mean, Naomi and the time happy to tell is getting this opportunity, but we all know Charlotte belongs in that match. She's a much bigger star. She's gonna be far more over in the Brooklyn crowd than the tell. That the crowd's gonna be dead. And I, I don't send a raw match either to Alexa Bliss and Bayley. You know, I like uh, Bayley. Oh, my God, those two are horrible chemistry together. I don't want to see that as a SummerSlam main event or a SummerSlam uh, women's match. I mean, they, they had two. Uh, they, they, they're just awful together. They're like water and oil. They just don't mesh. Anyway, I am. I just don't want to watch this goddamn show. I'm so pissed off at that fucking awful sh- pay per view a couple nights ago. I don't, man. It's going to be hard to sit through this show. I, I have a very uh, disgusted uh, uh, taste in my mouth right now. So I, it's, I am not looking forward to this at all. So. KO's coming out right now. Please, not another match with AJ. I'm already sick of it. Holy shit. Holy shit. Jericho is back. So the show just started off really great. It's already off on the right track. Uh, so when Jericho came back, uh, he won some rematch with uh, Kevin Owens for the US belt since he actually beat Owens last time before Owens won it back. AJ also wants the rematch and they're both uh you know they're both you know they're both yelling for the rematch. Uh you know Jericho puts AJ on the list and then uh Kevin Owens sneaks away but then Shane McMahon comes out. He uh then he makes a triple threat match for tonight. So it's interesting that we're not gonna get that at SummerSlam. I don't know what the SummerSlam match is gonna be now but it's a triple threat match on the main event for the US title so SmackDown looks to uh yeah, starting to regain some of the momentum that they that they absolutely lost the last uh, couple months. So maybe it's starting to get back to the SmackDown we all knew and loved uh, only a few months ago. Oh, bad news. So it's Nakamura and Baron Corbin again. God damn it. Not this fucking match again. They're going to kill Nakamura. I'm worried Corbin's going to fucking win. Corbin's a fucking bum. He is just garbage. He is dog shit. He's a horrible wrestler. Why do people like Baron Corbin? I want to hear one person tell me why Baron Corbin's good. Other than the fact that he's tall. The only reason he's there is because he's tall. If he is like seven or even five, six inches shorter, there's no fucking way he's getting that push. He's getting that push because Vince McMahon loves tall guys. He loves his big, tall guys with the big physique. It's not the only reason Corbin is here. He's a fucking bomb. He's garbage. He's awful. He's shit. He looks like shit. He has a horrible look. He's fucking has a belly button. Out uh, the fucking big gut. He is the worst hairline ever. He doesn't look, uh, you know, he doesn't look like an intimidating guy like uh, Braun Strowman does. You know, for a big guy, he just doesn't have that presence to him. He's awful on the mic. He has no confidence on the mic. And he's a horrible fucking wrestler, an awful fucking wrestler. Had an awful match at Nakamura. He had the worst match at Nakamura's career. He can't have a good match at Sami Zayn. Couldn't have a good match at Samoa Joe in NXT. Couldn't have a good match at Dolph Ziggler. He's a horrible performer. He is complete garbage. He's the drizzling shit. And He's killing SmackDown. Him and Jinder, they, 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 those are the two top push guys. Mahal has the title. Corbin has the briefcase. They're fucking garbage. Cor- oh, I'm so fucking sick of seeing this guy. 
Um, they actually had a pretty, it was a solid match. Uh, the crowd was into it. For a SmackDown match, it was, uh, it was pretty decent. Far better than their fucking awful match at Battleground. I don't understand why they didn't, they didn't have this match at Battleground. Nakamura won cleanly. Uh, thank God. So, I mean, as long as Nakamura wins and he doesn't lose to that fucking bum, Corbin, I think I'm in a good mood. Uh, but I just don't understand why this wasn't the match at Battleground. But, uh, again, uh, Two for two here on the SmackDown segments and matches. So, starting to be less negative on this damn show after that awful pay per view Sunday. So, uh, Dasha was interviewing Naomi backstage, and Tali interrupted her. They had back and forth. I don't want to see that match at SummerSlam. I really think it should be Naomi and Charlotte instead. And then, uh, as they're talking, uh, after Natalia leaves, Carmella comes out, so. She's wearing a free James Ellsworth shirt, so I, it seems like that's probably the direction in which at SummerSlam she cashes in. Now, Charlotte's out, so hopefully the best woman, unfortunately, the best woman does not have a match at SummerSlam, so uh, at least it's nice to see Charlotte right now. Now, Becky, so hopefully we get a long singles match with these two like we did well last week. Uh, these two are by far the best two on SmackDown, in my opinion, so uh, I'm really happy to see uh, both of them out here right now. God damn it, fuck. I was looking forward to Charlotte and Becky again. And said they're teaming up to face the two worst women in the whole fucking, the com- two worst women in the whole damn company. Tamina and Lana. God damn, I don't want to see another, these, get Tamina and Lana off my fucking screen. Why are they together? Tamina has nothing. She is garbage. She, the only reason she's there is because her father's Jimmy Snuka. And we know Lana's just there because of her luck. She put her with Rusev. Lana's great with Rusev. It's just so annoying. I don't want to see them on my fucking TV screen anymore. There's so much problems with SmackDown. Who's getting put? It's not the fact that they don't have talent. It's who they're deciding to push. So thankfully, Charlotte and Becky get the win. They get the win after Charlotte pins Lana after a big boot. After the match, Tamina starts yelling at Lana. It's just so fucking horrible to watch. It just it's it's cringeworthy. It's like get out of here, Tamina. You're so fucking bad. They show Lana crying. They're trying to make her sympathetic. Can Rusev just come out here and put Tamina in the fucking accolade and just leave with Lana? Can that just end like that? They can be back together. I don't have to see Tamina on TV anymore. Jeez, it's just fucking awful. So, General Mahal is up next. He's going to announce his SummerSlam opponent. I wonder who that is. We can't see his SummerSlam opponent. So, I I wonder who is who can General Mahal's SummerSlam opponent be? Who is it? I have no idea. I wonder who it is. So, that thing got very interesting. Uh, Mahal was out there. He's just awful on the mic. He can't talk. He, he has no confidence to talk. He's talking in such a low voice. It's like he can't. Uh, I want to keep going into it. Cena interrupts him, says he wants to have the match at SummerSlam. It seems to that after you know Cena talked, it was it was really quick. I was thinking, oh, that that's fine. It was really fast. Then something very interesting happened. Daniel Bryan comes out and says, "You have to earn it, earn the match." And then next week, he makes a huge match for SmackDown next week. John Cena versus Nakamura. Holy shit. Why isn't that at SummerSlam? That is a SummerSlam match. Wow. So, um, but I'm, I don't know who's going to win. I think Cena, I mean, you assume Cena wins, maybe Corbin costs Nakamura to match. But holy fuck, I mean, that's, that's a great match. <laughs> there's no, there's no one anyone can, you know, complain about that. I mean, that, that's awesome. So Kevin Owens was yelling at Shane backstage and, uh, they go back and forth. Hopefully, they don't do a match. I'm worried that might happen. Now we have some average tag team match that no one cares about. Just uh, just to calm the fans down before the great main event that we're probably going to get tonight. So, Sami Zayn and um, Ty Dillinger beat Mike Kanellis and uh, Aiden English. So, they just combined two rivalries. It looks like both the rivalries are over. Ty Dillinger got a, uh, some reaction here. The fans were chanting 10, 10, 10. So, that, that's, kinda, that's a good sign for him since the company did nothing for him since uh, when he debuted. Uh, Sami Zayn pinned Mike Kanellis. So, I guess that rivalry is over. Uh, Mike Kanellis and Rhea, it's just been a complete flop. Just a complete and utter disaster. I bet they wish they stayed in uh, GFW or wherever they were before Ring of Honor. That's just been a complete bomb. Uh, so New Day is out for their celebration. Uh, I suppose a rematch with the Usos at SummerSlam is the most likely scenario for the New Day. 
So when New Day was talking, they actually had Biggie uh, while he was introducing. Well, when he's introducing them, like he always says, they got jumped backstage, and then uh, Usos took him uh, through the, um, you know, through the entrance ramp and threw Kofi into the tight intro, and then they beat that shit out of the New Day. Um, I thought that was fine. I think that and that's fine to set up a rematch at a uh, SummerSlam, and uh, they had they, they had by far the best part of Battleground. So I mean, the only good thing on Battleground was that match. So I, I'm fine with. Um, uh, with the rematch for SummerSlam. So uh, Nakamura did an interview with Renee Young backstage. He says he's ready for... Uh, uh, or he says Cena can't see him and then he'll face Jinder at SummerSlam. Again, really interested to see how that goes. And now it's main event time. Jericho's O. And uh, one thing also worth noting, no fashion police in it today. So they're not going to continue the fashion x I don't know what that means for Herbert and Rowan. But that was not even mentioned on the show. So uh, main event's up. So hopefully they have a great match. And... Uh, this really could go either one of three ways, and any three of these guys can win. I'm actually looking, look, really, uh, really want to see this. I'm looking forward to see what these guys do. So the triple threat match was great. It was a great main event. Match was awesome. Crowd was super into it. So many false finishes. I felt like a pay per view main event. Three guys just tore down the hose. Uh, match. Just what else can you say? It was a great match and. Uh, AJ Styles gets the win. So it did surprise me a bit. Um, they beat Chris Jericho on his return. I, did, I didn't really understand why they did that. I don't know where the direction is for Jericho. I don't know if this was just a one-night return. But I don't know. Where's the direction for Jericho now? So uh, what happened was uh, Kevin Owens went for the frog splash. Hit the frog splash on Jericho. But AJ Styles came in. Threw Owens out of the ring and pinned Jericho for the three. So then Kevin Owens gets on the mic. Flips out. The man's a rematch next week. It's on. When I heard him, I was, I was a little afraid. Oh, shit. Is it going to be Kevin Owens and Shane McMahon at SummerSlam? That's how I'm afraid this is going to go. And I'm a bit worried that's the direction. Hopefully that's not. But I'm a bit concerned about that. But um, So next week on SmackDown, it is absolutely absolutely stacked you have cena and nakamura then you have kevin owens and aj styles holy fuck i mean smackdown is just man it is completely done another 180 i mean they did a 180 the last couple months because the show started to suck now it's on the complete 180 just for this week and next week i mean next week's probably going to be a great show with those two matches so uh yeah definitely a big rebound for smackdown